94.9 KLRC. It's Josh Baldwin. Good morning. It's Mark and Christy. I'm glad you're here. I'm glad to be here, Mark. Glad you, you made it. <laughs> you're you're glad I got up another day, right? Yes, to I show am. up to work. Just no. any other day. I love it. Yeah. So, Super Bowl weekend. That, you're not even going to mention the alarm, are you? No. no. I, I really did almost not make it in. I, I Okay. You know when your um, phone goes off, it, it gives you the option to snooze or stop. Yeah. It has those two, and somehow I pressed stop instead of snooze. I've done that before, and you don't know, because it's not like it tells you. Yeah, and so then I am I just randomly wake up, and I was like, oh my goodness, I have literally about 15 minutes to get ready. And I, I get it. You did it, though. I, I made Pulled it happen. It I flew around the house and ready to go. <laughs> put on my cape Yep, and got to work. So. I have... Uh... I have somebody in our house, Sweet Ruth, who that is normal. Like that's every day. <laughs> that's what she does on, on the just regular. How she rolls. Yeah. Like every single day. And I'm curious. I, I think the school board has to approve it yet, but there's a chance. I think starting next week that they're gonna bump school up a little bit earlier, like 20 minutes, so that they can make up the time from uh-huh. all the school days. And I was asking her. Uh, I was like, Hey, I hear there's a chance that you might have to get up a little bit earlier. To get to school pretty uh-huh, soon. Uh-huh. She looks at me. I'm not talking about it. <laughs> the I get it. RC Morning Show with Mark and Christy. 90.9 KLRC. 90.9 KLRC. That is Matthew West. He's coming in concert later on this month. It's his new one called Don't Stop Praying. Hi, KLRC. Who's this? Are you ready to play 50-50 with Mark and Christy? Oh, I play with you every day, actually, but now (laughs) I'm official. Well, we get to do this for real. Up for grabs, a couple of tickets to see Matthew West in concert February 29th. All right. Uh, All the details are at KLRC.com. I would love to go see Matthew West. Okay, well, let's see if we can well, get you some tickets. It depends on your performance today, yeah, Leah. No it pressure. It all depends on this game right here. Let's see what we can do. All right. I don't know. Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes I lose, to tell you the truth. Oh, I, I sometimes okay. lose. All right, we'll, we'll help okay. you out as best we can, okay? All right, Super Bowl theme, okay. 50-50. Here we go. The winning team oh, of no. these, <laughs> the winning team of the Super Bowl nope. <laughs> receives a trophy. Believe. Come on. Believe. I have that. Believe, no, believe. I don't know football. It's okay. Yeah, you'll be fine. You I got promise. this game. The uh, winning team okay. receives a trophy, and that is regular sized silver mounted and uh, in a kicking position of a pyramid like stand. The trophy is valued at more than $25,000. Written on the trophy are the words Super Bowl and the Roman numerals LV11, or, or which is 58, and the name of a famous football coach. Who is it? Is it Vince Lombardi or Christie's dad, Gary Don? <laughs> oh, actually, I have more confidence now. Okay. <laughs> Vince Lombardi it is. Wow, what a start for Leah yes. Mark. I mean, already We're out of the gate. You. Just yep. own in this game. Okay, Leah, here's your next question. As Christy would say, woohoo. There you go. Yes, All right. Well, in 1969, the NFL officially adopted the name for this football championship to be called the Super Bowl. The game title was birthed from the name of a toy that NFL executive Lamar Hunt's children were playing with. What 1960s toy were they playing with? Okay. Was it the little lady stove or the Super Bowl? (laughs) The little lady stove. (laughs) A, that was oh, a real. Oh, God. That was a real thing. Yeah. Did he name the Super Bowl after the yeah. little lady stove? Or the Super Bowl? <laughs> I am going, you know, I'm going to go with the Super Bowl. Yeah. <laughs> what a performance already. Man, right. she is showing up today, No pressure Mark. now. You've won officially. All right, here we go. A couple of more questions. Fill in the blank. Uh, the Super Bowl okay. is the second highest blank day for Americans. So you're going to fill in the blank. The Super Bowl is the second highest eating day or second highest hmm. belly laugh day? <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, eating day. 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 Eating Eating day. Eating day. Eating day. Eating day. No we one are. get on the scale on Monday morning. No, That's the, don't do the it. The day after Thanksgiving and the day after Super Bowl Sunday, yep. do not get on the scale. 
All right, here we go. Yeah. Last question. Holiday. Leah, your performance right now is just unbelievable. Um, keep it up. Let's see if we can get four for four. Last yeah. question. Another Super Bowl game is going on Sunday full of adorable, adoptable puppies. It's called the Puppy Bowl. <laughs> you can watch that on Animal Planet, by the way. Uh-huh. If you were to adopt a puppy from the Puppy Bowl, who do you think should take that puppy home? Is it Mark? <laughs> Come on, Mark. <laughs> or me? Who, who needs to take oh, an adoptable a, puppy home? That is a funny question. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> you, Christy. Oh, I was totally, I was, totally agree. I was so hoping you would say Mark uh, because I'm trying to no, get a puppy in his she house. Pick the correct answer. <laughs> hey, congratulations. <laughs> We're going to get you a couple of tickets to see Matthew West in concert uh, in Van Buren on February oh. 29th. And thanks for playing. 50 50 with Mark and Christy. Thank you. You bet. Real people, real life, real fun. Family Fun Friday. The KLRC Morning Show with Mark and Christy. Ready for some good news? We are, too. Here's your positive difference story of the day. Okay, so, Mark, I've I've been thinking I'm going to be pulling for the Chiefs, okay, on Sunday night. You're going to have a little competition with Matt because he's in on the 49ers. Yeah, and and I'll be honest with you. Sometimes I like to pull for the opposite team because we have fun, like, competing against each other, Uh you know, and talking a little, you know, smack. Mom-son competition. (laughs) So he's going for the 49ers. So then I'm like, okay, well, I'll go for the Chiefs. I really don't have a whole lot of skin in the game on either one. Yeah. Um, But I'm kind of struggling because I might... I might start going for the 49ers because I'm just hearing these football players. You were starting to sway after the Brock Purdy story. I know. This week. The, the quarterback for the 49ers, Brock Purdy, was talking about his faith and, and how no matter, you know, win or lose, he gives all glory to God. I was like, what? Okay. That's amazing. Uh-huh. And, and then next thing you know, the 49ers running back, Christian McCaffrey, so he was asked about his faith, and this is what he had to say. It's everything to me. I think uh, my faith has got me uh, where I am in life, and uh, through a lot, all the ups and downs, I when I rely on God, and you know, anytime I'm having a tough day or having a bad time in my life, I just get back to getting into the Word, and it's got all the answers. Um, and so it's it's the most important thing in my life, and it's something that I know I'll always have to to lean back on and to and to make a priority. I'm like, okay, Christian. <laughs> He's kind of winning me over. Uh-huh. And uh, anyway, I was doing a little bit more digging about Christian McCaffrey. And first of all, in his high school, they won four state titles. Yeah, they were dominant. I mean, yeah, they were. Was it? His dad played in the NFL, mm-hmm. right? His dad's a famous so, football player, too. I think his dad may be helped coach in a high school. So. Okay. 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 Well, his math teacher, who he still stays in touch with today, his name is Mr. Scott. Um, This is what Mr. Scott had to say about Christian McCaffrey as a high schooler. Okay. He said, one of the things I respected most about Christian and all of the McCaffrey boys, because he has brothers, is they did not expect any special type of attention or treatment. He said, I was always impressed that he never brought attention to himself. Mm -hmm. Um, He didn't ask for any special favors or expected anything more than his classmates. So he doesn't have a big ego. Yeah. Just a humble guy. I like it. Just working hard. Yeah. Playing football and treating other people well. And I just respect that a lot. Yeah. Um, Whenever you are such a gifted athlete like that and everyone's looking up to you, I mean, a lot of times it could be easy for that to go to your head. Right. And you kind of think, yeah, I deserve this or I'm special. And he's literally one of the best in the world at what he does. Yeah. So to keep that level of perspective, yeah, that's so impressive. I, I don't know what I'm going to do now. Like and I I know. We talked earlier. Like there's people who love God on both teams. and it's true. Right, which it's is true. awesome. Uh, but I think what's cool about the Brock Purdy thing, Christian McCaffrey, like these are two of the biggest stars on the mm-hmm. team, which means they're getting all the attention and the press conferences and all that. And so for them to use that platform mm-hmm. with reporters from all over the world yeah. to say, hey, like this matters more than a game, even more than the game yeah. kind of thing. And, and I think, and that, you know, is so inspiring to me, it, just even in, in my little life here in Arkansas, it's like, What's the big picture here in everything we do, Mm -hmm. right? Where is our perspective? What matters more than this? So there you go. That is our positive difference story of the day. 
The KLRC Morning Show with Mark and Christy. 90.9 KLRC. Let's go. Let's go. Tell me, do you want to go? Very, very exciting. All right, weekend. We see you. You're coming. <laughs> Let's do this. It's time for your family fun calendar. Mm-hmm. Okay, so our very own Robert, KLRC Robert. Yes. He is going to be out and about. He's going to be emceeing the Beaver Lake Polar Plunge. Yeah, he is. For Special Olympics. Which is awesome. Yeah, it's a fundraiser and basically try to help out. There's over 19,000 Special Olympic athletes here in Arkansas. Which is so cool. I, I love this. But anyway, it's such a fun event that's happening tomorrow out at Prairie Creek Recreation Swim Area at Beaver Lake. Uh, this is at 10 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. The Polar Plunge. It's going to be so much fun. There's a little beach area there. And uh-huh. everyone... I love that you use the word fun. <laughs> <laughs> I, that's fun to me. I, know. It... I mean, it's more fun watching everyone do it than uh-huh. I, when I say it's fun to <laughs> right. me. Right. Um, but people will like dress up in like superhero oh, outfits yeah. and they'll I mean, go out there and totally. into the freezing water. At least it's not going to be like really, really cold. I mean, February it can be really, really. I know. I, yeah. This crew kind of lucked out this year mm-hmm. uh, for sure. Um, then also going on. So if you want to say I do soon, you have uh-huh. a chance to uh, go check out a lot of the latest wedding trends. Okay. Uh, wedding venues, uh, former wear, music, photography, catering, flowers, and so much more. Right. And th- and that's what's coming up for you um, out at uh, the Benton County Fairgrounds. This is on Sunday starting at 11 a.m. until 3 p.m. Free admission, free parking, and basically it's a wedding expo. It's the Say I Do Wedding okay, Expo. Okay, so you can check all the wedding stuff out. Yeah, right. and if you don't want to get married, stay away. <laughs> stay away from that. Yeah, and then, uh, of course, we have uh, the Super Bowl coming up. Yes. You know which, do you game. know which number this is? No. It's I know it's LV and then three eyes. So V would be five. Three eyes is eight. Uh-huh. L, what is L, 58? 58. Yeah. Oh, why is that so good? Thank you. Yeah, so of course we have the, the Chiefs taking on the 49ers, and that's that's happening in Vegas. We'll be watching from our homes, uh, and that kickoff is at 530. Now, before, mm-hmm. before the Super Bowl, you can tune into the Puppy Bowl. We talked about this yesterday. I'm not going to be talking to the, the puppy bowl, but no, thank you. But it's before the Super Bowl, uh-huh. so it could just be on your screen, you know, yeah. watching these cute little adoptable puppies. Uh-huh. Kickoff for the puppy yes. bowl is at 1 p.m. on Sunday. Okay. The pregame show uh-huh. for the puppy bowl is yeah. at noon. Okay, I don't uh, want to miss that. You can uh, view it on the Animal Planet. Discovery. Oh, good. Discovery Plus, TBS, and True TV. So just so you know. Okay. Big I full day. Make sure to mark that down. Yeah, big full day for Super Bowl Sunday. Puppy Bowl and then the Super Bowl. Nice. And then, of course, a week from today is our welcome weekend yes. here at KLRC. In fact, uh, if you have time, maybe today or even this weekend might be a good time to uh, swing by the website, klrc.com. That is where you can get that little welcome weekend note that you can print off or you can use it as a guide to make your own if you want to do it that mm-hmm. way too. Uh, and the coolest thing is next weekend, we're all going to reach out to anybody in your life that's moved here in the last year, work world, family world, church world, all that. Mm-hmm. Pick one person and be like, hey, welcome. We're so glad that you're here now. Here's a few things that might be helpful. Cool stuff that goes on in our community that I love. Yeah. And then if you can, a little act of kindness might be a good thing. Throw in some cookies or a gift card or something yeah. fun like that. Yeah. And it, basically, you're just telling them like your favorite restaurants or favorite um, events going on in the area. Just It's kind of a template to give you yeah. an idea, like conversation starter. It's a good icebreaker, but to help them know what's going on in the area. Yeah. So there you go. It's at KLRC.com. You can find out more about the Welcome Weekend next weekend. Real people. Real life. Real fun. Family Fun Friday. The KLRC Morning Show with Mark and Christy. All right. Let's talk movies. Let's do it. All right, so we've checked in with our friends at Plugged In, who check out movies for you before you go and spend some money and some time, so at least you know what to expect. A couple of new movies that are out. One, Turning Red, rated PG. It's in theaters and Disney+. Plus. Here's what they said. Ever since Pixar rolled out their landmark classic Toy Story, the studio's been known for telling some of the best cinematic stories of the age. And while Pixar's movies are technically for kids... 
There are oftentimes some things for us adults to learn in along the way, too. Um, and so, Turning Red, this is what they said. Its own mother-daughter story skips the depth of maturity that's been part of Pixar's hallmark, leaning instead on short-sighted, do-your-own-things kind of ethos. Here's what they mean by that. Okay. Is that Turning Red basically picks up where the movie Brave left off, with the main character expressing an understanding that personal freedom and autonomy and, and the inherent need to be they need to be balanced, and that is what is most important, even over family and community. Oh, okay. Oh, good okay. Try. Uh, but while Brave suggested that the mature understanding was something that people grew out of as they got older, Turning Red actually suggests that it's something that we should that we shouldn't necessarily grow out of. So basically, it was like, keep your life all about yourself. Like, mm-hmm. eh, it's not such a good theme, I guess. Um, they said this, so definitely you want to have some conversations around that. Um, and while teens need to have room to explore their individuality and even sometimes learning to test some limits in growing up, uh, doubling down on rules and restrictions can be helpful when you need a little guidance. This movie doesn't necessarily support that or endorse that in any way. Said the story lacks the nuance and fortitude to show where the main character may have gone wrong. And the movie suggests that while family values are well and good, the individual trumps all. Okay. Interesting. All right. Even though, like, the, all the, like, cinematic stuff of it is, I guess, phenomenal. But there's an underlying story in there that probably is worth paying attention yeah, to. But the title is Turning Red? Turning Red. It's about a panda. <laughs> okay. You know, this is so off topic. But I'm, uh-huh. I'm, when I think about turning red, uh-huh. when I was in fifth grade, it was, um, you know, you have these days about drug free America, you know, it's yeah. And, and yeah, yeah. the whole. Anyway, so at school, we were supposed to bring something red. Uh-huh. And I, I had taken my mom's lipstick, her red lipstick, and I painted my whole face red. red. Of course you did. <laughs> Why doesn't that not surprise And I me? went to school with my red face. So that's what I think of. Because I've literally turned red. Um, <laughs> yes, you have. But, you know. Well, that sounds like a whole lot more entertaining than the movie actually <laughs> might be. Uh, by the way, if you're looking for something maybe a little more family friendly, mm-hmm. uh, Paramount Plus has a new movie called The Tiger's Apprentice. Got better family friendly ratings from Plugged In. So okay. you might want to check that out. And then this is week two of The Chosen season four. Oh, yeah. Episodes one through three are out in the theaters. And you actually watch all three episodes. So they have like an intermission between each one, and you're there for. I don't know, like a few hours at least. It's awesome. So that's, that's a lot cool. of good popcorn too. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so that's what's new in the movie world. You can find out more on the Plugged In website or the Plugged In app too. Real people, real life, real fun. Family Fun Friday. The KLRC Morning Show with Mark and Christy. Happy birthday! Oh yeah. And I'm bringing the party to you. Time to celebrate some birthdays together in the Marketplace Grill Birthday Bash. It's Friday, February 9th. And celebrating today, Bitten Cole Long, the big three in Farmington. And Lauren Johnson turning 34 in Rogers. Drake Satterwhite turning 19 in Garfield. And Millie Adams, 8 in Springdale. Brady Kelly, the Big 11, and grab it. And Dakota Littlehawk, 5 years old today in Centerton. And Haley Beam, 30 in Centerton. Also, happy early birthday wishes tomorrow. Sandy Robertson in Springdale, 77 years young. Melody Shalom Jensen in Gentry, double digits tomorrow, turning 10. Also, Justin Holloway in Gentry. Whitley Bond in Springdale. Destiny Nicole Brennan, 15 in Elkins. Uh, Gary or Jerry Woods, the second uh, Salem Springs. I think it's the third. Is it the third? Oh, Gary yeah, Woods, the, the third. third. Yeah. Keeping the generation thing going. Uh, and Nathan Wagner in Venita, Oklahoma, turns six tomorrow as well. Happy birthday, everybody. And the randomizer is going to pick a winner for us. And Brady Kelly, grab it. We're going to hook you up with a gift certificate to celebrate with our friends at the Marketplace Grill. Woo-hoo.